Hello folks, welcome to Convergence. Thank you for watching CVG TV. My name is Gregory Parks and you are watching Conlink. With me here in the studio today is Anne Rubick from the Geek Partnership Society. Hello Anne, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we are going to be talking about the GPS Charity Auction. Now, oh, yes. this happens every year at mm -hmm. Convergence and at other conventions as yes. well, correct? What yes. other conventions? do we have the uh, GPS charity on? Well, including Convergence, we're up to a total of five so far. We've got one at Furry Migration, Anime Fusion, Console Room, which is the Doctor Who convention for those who don't know about it, and uh, first time this year, Minicon. Oh, cool. Yep. Excellent, so ever expanding. Yes, we have many donations and we have many funds we need to raise. Speaking of that, uh, I think it would be kind of uh, horrible to assume that everybody knows what the GPS charity auction is. What is the charity auction and why are you raising funds? What programs are you raising funds for? Convergence gives us space to host this auction as a fundraiser for all the things we do. So we will have a space, um, I believe this year it'll be in one of the Great Lakes rooms, second floor. Ooh. We get donations from community members, from guests of honor, from dealers, and uh, they go up for auction and the monies raised go to help support all of the things that the Geek Partnership Society does. Operating the center that we're filming in right now, which is to support the larger Twin Cities Geek community, um, our public outreach programs that includes, most people are familiar with us for the Space Camp Scholarship, and Project Lighthouse, which is the STEM grants program to bring in um, science presentations into schools and libraries and rec centers year round. And we still have the annual writing contest. If you did not get it in yet, you have missed the deadline. Um, also, because we're physically located in the Northeast Minneapolis Arts District, and we're geeks and we suffer from scope creep, we have an arts initiative now as well. So, <laughs> and we support all those things, the community building year round with clubs and events. Yeah, it takes money, it takes space, it takes volunteers. Well, uh, yeah, that is, a, that is a broad scope that you have to cover. Yes. And these, every, every item that you sell, at the charity auctions helps. So uh, how often do you get donations? Well, for Convergence, for example, we'll be reaching out to the guest department and the dealer's room uh, department so they can communicate to whoever they are working with this year that this is what we're doing. If you'd like to donate something, this is how you do it. Uh, we'll provide them with the messaging and the links and all of that. But literally, we get stuff year round. I mean, uh, I came in a week and a half ago and there were six bags and four boxes sitting outside of our office door. It's like Christmas year round here. You come in and it's like, oh, oh well, I knew you were having the auction coming up and I'm getting rid of some stuff or I'm moving and here, make some money with it. So we Whoa. get lots of books and games and collectibles and you just never know what you're gonna get. We get some stuff that's fairly new and then we get some stuff like, I don't think I was born when this came out. <laughs> And it's, it's pretty interesting, and uh, you learn a lot. Cool. Wow. That's, so it's a, it's a never-ending bounty, and, mm -hmm. and you have to make room for more because it doesn't stop coming in. Yes, so we're going to try and move a lot of stuff this year at Convergence. So um, speaking of which, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier, and you said something about how you're going to switch up the auction this year a little bit. What's yeah, this change that you have coming? We're adding a new thing. So uh, everything that was previous is standing. The new thing is we're going to try what's called Sunday sale. Anything that has not received a bid that was put out on the floor, uh, when we go through and we're recording the winners, we'll start marking prices on the bid sheets for the items that didn't receive any bids for Sunday sale. Even if you weren't able to make it in for the bidding, come in during our hours on Sunday and you can still pick some cool stuff up. So some things will be, it might be the minimum bid, it might be the actual value, it might be less than. You don't know, you'll have to show up to find out. Hmm. And save your ducats, bring your money, and we take cards. With that, with that Sunday sales, it'll be interesting to see uh, what treats what treasures remain for mm -hmm. people to snatch up because well we get we get cool stuff and um, a lot of people don't realize we actually get donations last year we were getting donations as we were packing up on sunday whoa this people's like i forgot this in the trunk of my car will you still take it coming out with the same number of bins as we came in with i count that as a win <laughs> you had earlier you said you have five auctions so. yes yeah so well, five auctions, and I'd also like to see us start an online presence with eBay or some such platform. 
Oh. Because we get some cool stuff that it's like, you know, this is really awesome, but this will never go at one of our auctions. Yeah, because somebody somewhere will likely want it. Exactly. That's amazing. That, that's one of the cool things about eBay, and that'll be, that'll be exciting to see that yep. come to fruition if it happens. Yeah, we're looking at uh, building on platform and also finding volunteers to help with that. And you need, you need bodies to help. You just yes. Can't, yeah, you can't just do it by one, two, or three people. Yeah, nonprofits, it's, it's the same rule for all volunteer-run nonprofits. You're limited by the money you have or the money you can make and the number of people willing to step up and volunteer. If anybody's looking for a year-round sort of thing to help us out, come talk to me. <laughs> Come see Ann Rubick. Speaking of the auction, we've been talking about auctions for a while, and now we are surrounded in the studio by stuff. Several items, lots of stuff, tons of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, what items here would you like to speak about? Are there a few oh, any items that you're that you're favoring that you would like to talk about? Well, you can't really do that because it's kind of like asking a parent who their favorite kid is. Ah. But well, we get some <laughs> cool things in, so uh, we got bobbleheads from Mythbusters. That's kind of cool. We have some signed items. Marina Sirtis, uh gave us something from Queen Bee, and she had signed it. And um, I don't know if you can get a shot of Gonzo as uh, Dr. Was it Malcolm? Dr. Ian Malcolm, Do yes. Dr. Ian Malcolm <laughs> in that famous pose. Uh, yeah, we got all sorts of stuff. I've been instructed I need to do this. Squeaky brains. Squeaky brains. It's a, it's a whole set of them. So. And they're multicolored and they're Yes, and because everybody needs that. And in fact, I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm actually wearing an item that is up for auction. This is a t-shirt from Convergence 2000. Mm -hmm. And there are signatures of the guests of honor on this shirt. Down here at the bottom, we have Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman's signature is on this shirt. We also have signatures by uh, Peg Kerr, Regina Pancake, Keith Topping, and the entire cast and crew of Go to Hell. Mm -hmm. So these are the signatures emblazoned on this shirt from Convergence 2000. This is one of the items that will be auctioned off. Yep. We have uh, this, <clears throat> this piece right here. This is our articulated serpent created by Mythical Menagerie. Uh, over there to Anne's right, to your right, we have a, a game dice sword wooden hanging yep. by Awesome Industries. We have a portrait of uh, Carrie Payton as King Ezekiel. And I believe and it's, it's signed. Yep, signed by the artist Tony Santiago. We have Baby Groot, also signed by the artist. We have all of these Game of Thrones plushies in the front. Your favorite characters, Daenerys, Jon Snow, Arya Stark, Tyrion Lannister, Jaime Lannister, Brienne of Tarth, Melisandre, those are created by Citizen Nerd. Mm -hmm. So these and more, we even have little figures. I have an assortment of Pokemon here. I have some, some pins. There's going to be jewelry at the auction. We have a signed script from last year's radio play, Gargoyles meets the Spectacular, Spider-Man meets Young Justice meets Black Manta, Celebrity Hot Tub. So all of these and more you will find at the GPS auction at Convergence this year. Yep, and there will be things that we don't even know necessarily are coming yet because we have an online donation form for folks to come in so we can have bid sheets ready if they really want it out this year we ask them to help us out by providing the information so we can create the bid sheets and just have them waiting. But then there are people, again, we get stuff during the convention itself and it's like, this is too awesome not to let it get out. <laughs> so you gotta come check it out. We tend to match art show hours. Although on uh, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, we're open an hour after they close. Mm. Oh, you wanna see art? We have art, we'll have a whole wall of art. Definitely visit the GPS auction. You will find some treasures you will find some things that you didn't even know you wanted. Well, thank you, Anne, for joining us and spending some time talking with us about the GPS charity auction this year. Thank you. All right. Thank you for joining us. My name is Gregory Parks, and you are watching Conlink.